Woohoo! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of let's go, into the fishing topic, paddlefish are back. Did you know that? Did they ever Did you know leave? they were gone? I didn't know they <laughs> <Yeah>. were gone. <laughs> I, I knew they were around, but I know that they're like a very, I don't know, better way to say it, like a very, a very niche fish. Like it's sure. not in all the, I don't know if it's in lakes, if it's just rivers. Just rivers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just rivers from what I what I, I don't know found. what river you got to go find them. Well, that's the crazy thing. So this is, um, I'll just say it at the beginning here. Um, I, and I'll say it again at the end. It's definitely written into the research is this is one article that I was very interested in. And, and I, I spun off a little bit of research, but I didn't do, um, cause I know there's more than one side to this. Yeah. Uh, and, and trust me when I say it, that will all come out here as you listen to the podcast. So just hang in there for the full ride with us. Uh, this is one article from the Star Tribune by uh, Greg Stanley, and um, it was basically the headline of like paddlefish are back. But that is not actually going to be our topic, but that'll unfold here as we go along. Uh, before we start, though, can you describe the paddlefish? And I think you actually did a little bit in prior episodes where we went to the you went to the aquarium I, there was at some point we were talking about you going to the aquarium with your son the aquarium at the yeah. Mall of america and and how crazy that shit is because they have these they have these there at the aquarium yeah and they're you wild know, you can you can see them at the state fair too that's right yeah. that was actually in the article they had a picture from the what is the minnesota dnr so also for people outside of minnesota um I am specifically talking about um, this area in Minnesota. This topic will be very Minnesota centric. Uh, that's the Star Tribune, the local, so to say, um, paper out of Minneapolis. And yeah. so this is very centered around Minnesota, but like it's a good topic for just generally speaking. I think you'll you'll find it really interesting just because it's kind of centered around lower Minnesota. I don't think that it's going to be something you're going to get bored with. Mm. But, uh you know, if you yeah. get bored, share with a friend. See if I get it bored too. <laughs> and you guys can come talk shit in the comments on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you guys can look at each other and be like, boring, right? Yeah, it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking boring. I thought they were like trying to like laugh and learn and shit like that. <laughs> if uh, you think it sounds boring, then don't fucking read it. Because then it's, <laughs> it's just, just not for you. <laughs> uh but yeah, Tim, do you think you got a do you think you got a visual? Because you're right, the DNR booth at the Minnesota State Fair had a photo in the Star Trib and they I were like, it. Ooh, it's such a hit. I could like, it's a hit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's a fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> back. Um <laughs> uh, so in my mind's eye, I could see this fish. And it's so it's it, it's like it's like shark like you know how if if you're familiar with the sturgeon sturgeons are kind of shark like as well yep. but they're more of kind of like a long flatter fish like their stomach's almost kind of flat cuz they're on the bottom and paddlefish aren't a bottom fish so they're more right. like a more like a stout shark where they're like a little <laughs> bit more broad yeah and yeah. then they have a big ass paddle on the front of their face and that's why they're called a paddlefish. Right. So it's like, it's like it, if you take an oar and and lay it on its side cuz like if you take a like a canoe paddle yeah and think about how you make it push yourself through the water mhm mm but turn it sideways. <laughs> it's like yeah and then put it on its face but then also also like where the oar is like wide at the bottom and then it goes to like a handle mm -hmm. this is like wide at at the end and then it goes to like I don't know, a little less wide a little less wide yeah right yeah it's kind of almost one it's almost one width but it gets a little skinnier towards the face yeah yeah well it's yeah. like if you see if you see it from straight on the end does kind of like 
I don't know what that's about. Like that's where they chomp with. Yeah. I have no idea how they I'm, eat or anything. Me neither. And but actually, oh, go ahead. Did, did your article talk about how you catch them? No, it didn't. But I please, please. Here's go. the weirdest shit. I'm about 90% certain that you cannot fish for these things to get them to bite anything because they don't. The only way you fish for paddlefish is to snag them. What? Yeah, you legitimately just cast out like a weight with a treble hook on it and you snag them. Like that's how it, they're meant to be fished. Fuck, are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. You could you just <laughs> snag paddle fish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So they do when they actually open their mouth, which is rare, it's huge from what I saw. Um cuz I looked them oh, up just a little bit. Does it have the giant like like a Where whale like, almost. Yeah, like they eat like krill or whatever. They're probably just eating like the the um like yeah, algae. Plankton. Like yeah, plankton, plankton and algae yeah, the, or whatever. I yep. was trying to think of like I was I was going through the progression. I'm like plankton and I was like algae, and I'm like, no, it's the little shit that eats the algae. Plankton. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. So again, we're not actually talking about paddlefish, and we'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to say, like, I wanted to get like the article did, I wanted to get everybody's attention with the paddlefish and really draw the attention to the paddlefish because you said it perfect, like the sturgeon and the paddle. They're, they're so unique and different and ancient. And, and that was the whole yeah. point of the article. And I thought it was just great to play into that. Um, so I guess they've been gone from most of Minnesota rivers Except there's deep spots in the Mississippi, which is where the aquarium comes into play. Because okay. the aquarium, right, the aquarium at the Mall of America says they're in the Mississippi River. And you're like, okay, cool. Um, anyways, so I guess except for deep spots in the Mississippi and the St. Croix. And the St. Croix is that the river that separates us from Wisconsin. Besides those two spots... I guess they've been missing from Minnesota rivers for like a hundred years. Really? Yeah. I swear that there's a, uh, it doesn't really matter how I know him. I was going to say, but there's a, there's a younger kid I know mm -hmm. that goes and snags, like has snagged paddlefish, like really not far from, where my in-laws live. Really? Well, you know, yeah. he, so probably just, a good idea to get in contact with the DNR. <laughs> just to confirm real quick, I was I looked it up. And yeah, for sure, it says uh, perfect your snagging. It's like it's you it literally gives you step by step <laughs> and it's like grab a sinker, grab a treble hook, tie it up, throw it out there. You just Snag really? them. If you look on YouTube, the first YouTube thing that pops up is how to snag paddlefish. Wow. That's how you... Which I have to real. I, I I don't know if it's legal to do that in Minnesota. I, I didn't look into any of that. But I mean, if they're rare here in Minnesota, I just like... I, I, I yeah, if they're endangered, maybe there's no season here. But I mean, if it's just endangered in Minnesota, but they're healthy anyplace else. Maybe they're like, fuck, I have it. I don't know. There's only oh, seven yeah, of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Good luck I'm snagging sure. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's the case, but that's nuts. Yeah, if that's you snag really one crazy. of seven fish in this river, good on you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> so, so this is where we get into, this is where we're going to get into, you know, the other part of the topic here is like, um, in Granite Falls, they removed a dam in 2013, and then in 2014, just one year later, they started seeing fish already. So mm. the paddlefish came back after one year of removing this dam, and that's really where this article and this conversation goes because I know you do dam fishing and, uh, and other stuff yeah. like that. And so uh, I guess the DNR is kind of out there removing dams, like doing dam removal, those dam dams. Dang. Damn. are getting taken down hmm. and i was like huh that's weird yeah do they not serve a purpose i thought there was a reason for them <laughs> that's <laughs> the craziest thing so uh, apparently they're removing dams one by one and it's like a decent amount 
and that actually the more research they've been doing, it's just the dams are actually killing off the biodiversity because they're like sectioning off the river and not letting it flow. Okay, yeah. And so it's basically now the research is kind of panning out that like once a dam goes up, half the species above it just die off. And so Mm. it sounds like the paddlefish come from the south and go north and they need like a lot of area to travel. So that's why they're stuck in southern Minnesota. They just can't go further north. There's too many dams. Oh. Yeah. And the the reason why, I guess, a lot of these dams are coming down is because they were built in like the early 1900s. So there you go. They're like hundreds yeah. of years old. These dams right. are like hundreds of years old. Yeah. And that's how they're, I think that's probably how they made the connection between the like, unless you've been in the Mississippi and the St. Croix, these paddlefish are not around anymore. Sure. Now I really want, like, you should come back later in the podcast, like find out like, hey, where's that kid snagging them? Because it'd be really cool to know. Yeah. Like I said, this is one article. I didn't go out and there's definitely more angles to this. Yeah, I dude, think. I can definitely look into that because like I didn't know they were rare. I Well, I knew they were rare in the sense that they're not everywhere. But I thought like mm-hmm. once you found the mm-hmm. river that they were in, you're just like, yeah, they're they're in this river. And then that was it. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just never right. fished that river. Right, right, so, right. The other thing that I, I found interesting about what you said is that I only fish the bottom of the dam. I never fish above any dams. You fish the bottom. Oh, and really? I never, I never even thought about that. Okay. Like all the fish above it were like dead. It's just like <laughs> the, the fish. Had, this the is the fish, way you put that. I'm sorry. You're just like <laughs> all of all the fish above it are dead. I didn't know they're all, they're all they're all they all die. They're dead up there. So just totally dead. <laughs> but yeah, like the the at the bottom of the like I mean stuff gets washed down. There's there's like food sources and you know like that that's where like there's good current and they hide in the breaks and whatnot. And it's just like mm-hmm. I just never even thought about it. Like you, right. it's just like a it's just like a known thing. Like you pretty much don't fish above the dam for the most part but i i guess i have i have fished okay. above the dam at certain spots but for like pan fishing okay. stuff when i'm fishing for like bigger predatorial fish like mm-hmm. those are at the bottom for the most part okay so and like i don't know so you say you just know like i guess you what you said i, I think and i kind of missed it already but he's like you just that's just a known thing like you don't go fish above the dam it's just like yeah, for the most living part, in a damn town, you just yeah get that. Like yeah, you just I pick think up like, on it. If you yeah, if you just go to like any place, there's a couple of different dams in different areas on different rivers here mm-hmm. that you don't mm-hmm. have to go too far to go. Mm-hmm. And when you go, you don't see people fishing on the top. But then really? I had to then I had to take that back because there is one that I know people fish above because there's like okay. pan fish up there. Okay, but maybe that's. You know, like that just happens to be that like slow moving part of the river that actually has panfish because I don't go to any sure. of the other rivers to fish panfish. It's all smallmouth right. and walleyes and there's northern there too, but that's not why I'm there. Right. But right. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, did you see the huh. muskie record got broke? No. What? Random. Yeah, just random. Sorry. I just it just hit me. Nope. I don't know why when I said pike. Oh, shit. Yeah. The new muskie record has been set uh from lake Malax. some guy oh my god they said some guy beat the ice went out <laughs> and uh broke the record really yep i have wow i can pull that's that. a surprise i, that. I just yeah. didn't expect that yeah it's it's Sorry, it was completely random and I wasn't. Yeah, no, but I get it because this. you were talking about the predatory fish and like how they live below the dam and then there's panfish above. And it's just weird to think like because the panfish probably don't they can't swim for shit in the current. No, I think maybe that's why they're at the top because the current's not as heavy at the right at the top. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And this is also yeah, like I'm a small sure. dam. It's a small, weird dam there. Yeah. Yeah. So you probably keep an eye on it because the way it sounds is the DNR wants to try to 
take these out because of the 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 killing of the biodiversity and like the sectioning off of the rivers that these small dams that they they really don't have a great reason anymore it's kind of what the article made it sound like is just like i don't know man these things were built a hundred years ago we're not fully sure what is going on there like why they wanted them like he def the article definitely stated like well you know they're was the thought that this will bring better duck hunting or something like that, right? Because you just build, oh. it'll build a pond behind it and then that'll bring better duck yeah. hunting. So in like 1940, when everybody was fucking duck hunting, then, you know, better duck hunting would have had a big impact on a community. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, huh? I, don't, I don't really Dude, know. Dude, the craziest thing is, is I thought they were literally like to do the opposite of what the research set that like you close the dam to keep the water above it at a good level Mm, mm -hmm. and then the research shows that like the fish above the dam are just like Uh. (laughs) 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 and it's 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 not necessarily that like all the fish are dying but like oh no i know i know yeah i know what you mean i mean because like the mississippi has you know clearly fish the whole way down yeah and i mean what like i you could google it probably if you wanted to but there's got to be hundreds of dams on the mississippi as it goes oh, from sure. from the north of the country to the, the south of, of the country it just goes right <laughs> through the middle of it there's got to be right. hundreds of dams i i would bet that there's based on what i've I read in this article there's probably hundreds in minnesota yeah and, because not all of them are huge that's the thing. And that's the thing that the DNR is going after too, is these like yeah. smaller, these little smaller dams that are just like popping up, you know, Yeah, because the small ones, yeah, the small ones where you can't like really regulate it. I don't know what the fuck their point was, but like in St. Cloud here, that one uh, generates power, oh, I believe. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think it does so, too. Yeah. So you're actually like, there's a purpose of it, but the little ones... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never even thought about it before, but you're like, what are you doing? Like, you're just, the water <laughs> right. flows over it until, like, there's a drought, and then it, then the water just stops and flowing it... over it. <laughs> and, like, I never, like, really understood the point of it. I just always assumed it was just to be like, well, half the river is going to be fucked, but the other half will be all right. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. I think that's kind of, after reading this, this kind of seems like, that's what the DNR is coming to is this. Like, okay. Yeah. I mean, we're just making little sections of the river and that's why the biodiversity dies off is because it just oh, turns man, into that... this little, it turns into its own little like lake or its own little area. Right. And, and then yes. whatever can survive survives and whatever can't dies off. But yeah. like if the river's just flowing freely and it, and it really so does turn moving. into, and it really does turn into its own little part of the lake because mm-hmm. there are different lakes where it'll be like lake oh what's that one hmm. uh i can't think of it right now it's out by my brother-in-law's place and they fish oh, okay. it a lot in the winter uh-huh. but it's literally it, just a wide it's a widening in the river oh, where because okay. it widens out the water the current slows down yeah and it's and it's called a lake but it's not oh. a lake at all it, for, well i mean and is it because it is, is by it the specifications i don't know no La Capara, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard yeah. it. I know that lake. Yeah. Yep. I don't think that one is. I think that one's a natural lake because yeah. I've heard of that one. So I think that's just a natural lake. But yeah, you're right. It just gets flat. And so like the dams are sort of causing artificial ones. And like, it, dude, of that lake right there has a little community popped up around it. And these little communities pop up be, when they put the dam in. People you know, start to build around the, that water. So sometimes removing these dams is like a hard sell too. Yeah. You know, like, like I read in the article that there was this one in Hinkley um, that it, it didn't go over that well. And it's got a fishing pier above and below. And that's kind of where I was going to, that's where I want to continue back to St. Cloud, like to where you fish dams and say, so you, you have your reasons to fish above and below you have a big, you have a big dam in comparison, or the one specific one. Yeah, it's a, a big, big dam in comparison. Yeah, I mean it's on the Mississippi. They, are there, so, you know, are there specific 
piers. Like this, this was a dam that they want to take out and there's a fishing pier above and below. And so there's, you know, oh, people in Hinkley that uh, are like, I don't know if we should take that out because, you know, it's just, they just like, don't think they should yeah. take it out. There's fishing piers above and below. If you take it out, what's going to happen to the water level? You know, there were, yeah, there's, I mean, it, there's not really a fishing pier. It's, uh, dude, it's the weirdest thing at the bottom of the dam where I guess it's considered a fishing pier. But when you go down, it's almost like a like a a turnstile, like where it's like you're waiting to get onto a roller coaster or something. It's just like a bunch <laughs> yeah, it's, of, a, it's like a line queue. Yeah, and you're like, why is <laughs> you have to and then it's, your way but down. it's like right on the river, mm-hmm. and there's a couple of different bars there, and you're just like, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> you know, like most the uh, most of the piers are like wooden and they have like that slanted piece of wood and they have like holes in it so you can put holes your rods on it while you're sitting there. It. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just concrete with like regular metal railings. Like <laughs> you know, you're just trying to help your grandma get into the house. Like you we need to have railings here. And it that's all it is. It's just odd. It's a it's a very odd setup. So I guess you could call yes. that a pier. There's nothing above, but there is below. Oh shit. Okay. I was close. Sorry if I like jumped What's there. It? I like started bending my leg and I felt my quad start to cramp and I went, oh shit. I was like, <laughs> can't have that happen. All of a sudden you'll just see me disappear from frame. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that spot you're talking about, we've actually fished there. I think I might have a walleye photo. Uh, I think we were out of season. Like I just hope so happened to snag it, but we fished down oh, there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Cause I know caught, exactly yeah. where you're talking about. Yeah. You caught that walleye there. Yep. Yeah. 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 So there's, decent. there's a couple of different spots you can get to the water, but yeah, it's a weird ass spot right there where like yeah, one side goofy. of it is like the most gnarly current. And you're just like, who's fishing on this side? <laughs> and the other side is just like not that big. So there's like eight guys crowded up. Well, there would be. But yeah. everybody just like goes off into the woods and stands on rocks or whatever. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. Uh, oh. and before we get too far away from it, just because I did pull it up real quick, I just oh, want yeah. the new musky record. It used oh, yeah. to be, it used to be. 54 pounds, and that record was set in 1957 on Lake Winnebagosh. No way. And, and the new one is 55 pounds, 14.8 ounces, so almost 56 pound fish. It was Jesus. 57, yeah, it was 57 and three quarters inch long, and it was 29 inch girth. Oh my. So it's just a God. big fat fish. 57. Over two feet wide, two feet and round. Yeah, it's a big, thick old fish. Oh my god! Yep, that is crazy, dude. Yeah, it's it's a it's an impressive fish. Jesus. No, there's kidding. two there's two guys shoulder to shoulder in the picture holding it, holding it. Like yeah. the one is in the front holding the gill plate, and the other one's in the back holding the tail. Yeah, they're shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Two guys being able to hold it like that. Oh my god! That's a massive fish. That is crazy. Yeah. So that came off of Malax, and I'm glad Malax, to see that yeah. there's another fish that was that big. Because there was some. Uh, no, and before I say this, I want to say that I'm not talking shit because it, it might come off sounding negative if you think it. If I. If I if I don't preface this first, but there were some right. Native Americans that netted what would be the new state record. Oh, because okay. they're allowed to net on there. Yep, and then yep, that was just fishing, like think, that doesn't been... count as breaking yep. the record because you didn't actually catch it. Mm-hmm. So yep. uh, that, and I'm just like, damn, the state record was out there. Now it's gone. Right. right. And then this guy catches a new state record, and you're like, well, fuck. If they netted one and a new guy caught one. Right. How many more are out there that are just right. these tanks? Especially in that lake. Huh. Yeah. Yep. Holy shit. That's a that's a massive lake. That's a big they're easy lake. A big, there big easily body could of water. be another state record sitting in there just waiting oh, yeah. to be caught. For sure. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. So sorry to All get right. us derailed, but I no, had to no, get no, back. No. I had to 
I wanted to throw the stats out there because I can't just be like, oh, the Meskey record was broken. Right. Back to dams. <laughs> Like <laughs> right, <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna find it while we made our way through the dams thing. Uh, so here's one more thing that I found really crazy about like the 1900s because we talked about we've talked about this a lot. The carp. Mm. We've talked a lot about carp, invasive carp. Like we've go back to the backlog. You'll catch up. In the 1900s, when they were building this, they kind of sold them, I guess, as being like, well, if we build dams, carp mm. won't get up. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, everywhere. it turns out the carps were the only ones that figured out how to get around the fucking dams. <laughs> the, car- the carps are just like <laughs> jumping up them and looking back at the other fish. They're just like, you just jump. You just do this. Like, and here, they're here, like, we watch, can't. Watch. It swims back down. Does it again? Yeah. Like, see, just do that. Just, just do yeah. that. And they're just like, well, we're just gonna live down here. No, <laughs> <laughs> there's just a walleye watching this carp. Like, right? Nah, I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool. Mm-mm. I don't know <laughs> if you know this, but not much of a jumper, <laughs> isn't it? I'm. I know I'm just a fish, and you're just a fish, but. Go check out YouTube. You, <laughs> you're not gonna find any videos of me jumping. I don't jump. Just YouTube uh, while I jump in. Nah. You might find a video of me jumping, but it's gonna be like Larry Bird dunking. You're just gonna be like, I didn't know they did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh, catfish, dude. So the paddlefish is the one, and this is kind of going right back to the beginning. So the paddlefish is one that kind of getting the attention because it's such a gnarly looking fish. Like that's why I wanted to describe it in the beginning is because it's such a gnarly looking fish. It really gets your attention. And so yeah. same thing, you know, like headline paddlefish. Um, but there's more species. And for me, I had to bring this one up. This was, this was, because this was my, there's, okay, there's two of them, but this one first, flathead catfish. Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. it was kind of hard to find flathead catfish, like, north, north of the, like, cities. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think, mean, not not impossible. It didn't say I guess impossible. north of the impossible. cities, yeah, that makes sense. I guess I always picture them as being kind of like a, a dirtier water fish, but I guess maybe oh, yeah. that's just... Because that's the water they create. Sure. Now, now I'm thinking about this. Mm-hmm, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure Sam has a picture with one. Does he? I think so. Like a weird spotted one. Is that a flathead? Do flatheads have spots? I don't know. When yeah, I, I saw know. it, I, I was need like, to do oh, more. Look at that. Right. <laughs> I I've never caught the species that he had for sure. So maybe that's a okay. flathead catfish. Because yeah. The only thing I can remember are flats and blues, big fish. That's kind of like, I love eating catfish. Catfish is delicious. It's one of my favorite eaters. And um, flatheads and blues get huge. So I guess the thing is. Oh, so that's just, yeah. What's that? That's just, that, the flathead catfish is like your, just your stereotypical like what you think of when you see somebody holding like a hundred pound catfish exactly yep yeah yep that's what it is and so yeah i guess because of the the dam removal that the dnr is doing uh the flatheads are going north again Mm. because again just what you were talking about is like the carp were just like just jump up this thing the flathead (laughs) just down there sucking up fish off the bottom of the river like i'm not going up that thing fucking crazy right yeah (laughs) so yeah as they remove some of these smaller dams i guess they're they're making their way back up so that's pretty cool it gives gives me hope for catching a uh, decent size one in our area because we're north of that dude that would be super cool yeah i would love to catch a monster catfish like that yeah wouldn't it be awesome oh just fight it all day yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Like 45 <laughs> minutes later, you're like, dude, I need you to take over. My arm's fucking dead. Okay. Right. So, yeah, yeah I guess the uh, uh, according to the, the DNR, 
the uh, the catfish. So this is a little side research that I did. Um, the DNR says that to, if you're going for catfish, going for flathead catfish, it's in yeah. the southwest. So that lower corner, you know, where the Mississippi's running down out of the state. Um, below the Miss be, below the Minnesota River Granite Falls Dam. As we were just talking about Granite Falls getting removed and then some flatheads go in. Yeah. So there you go. The DNR just flat out says, like, if you go to look how to fish for flathead catfish, and the DNR is just like, Well, you got to go to the southwest corner for that. <laughs> Apparently, as they move more and more dams, they're coming north. So nice. that's pretty sweet. Um yes. because these are big, dude. The state record, I didn't get yeah. the year on it. 70 pounds, man. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. So, yeah. So that's a oh, like just man. to tie it back to the musky, dude. That musky you just said was 55 pounds. 55 is the new state record. Like that's the new one. Almost 56. Yeah. But right. That's just because these things are fucking tanks. But think bro. a 70 pound like Think about that thing. Tanks. 20 more, nearly 20 more pounds. <laughs> Just what if, if you, if you snag, if you actually got one to bite, I would, you'd think you're on a log. I have to think you'd think you're on a log. Oh, for sure. Like you just set the <laughs> hook. I think it, I mean, if it, if it started fighting back right away where you'd just be like, oh, and you'd be like, the fuck and then it pulled back you'd just be like oh oh dude i'd be freaking out the whole time i'd be like holy <laughs> shit holy shit holy shit i'd just be so nervous it's gonna break my line i'm just like oh right, dude, it's right, huge yeah. it's huge like that's my reaction like because a five pound bass in minnesota is like a good sized bass and i've said the sure. hook before and seen it like roll over in the shallows and yeah. just like seeing the side of it flash, I just go, it's a fucking monster. And like the whole time, I'm just like yes. freaking out as I'm trying to get it in. Like 70 pounds. Right. I'm just trying to reel in a fucking truck. A large <laughs> dog. I'm trying to reel in a large dog. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just like. Got a Labrador. Got a fat Labrador. <laughs> fat Labrador on the line. <laughs> He's chunky. He ain't no air bud. Yeah. That's for sure. There's uh um that river monsters dude. I believe mm-hmm. it was like for the pharaoh perch. They were over there and he set the hook. And for that, like that thing was like hundreds of pounds. And at first, Jeez. like he didn't think he had anything. He's like, oh. I think I'm snagged on the house. And he's like, this is just not moving. And then all of a sudden you could I'm see like help. eventually it was like and he's just like, this is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then like three oh, commercial yeah. breaks later, they're still at the same part. They're still, <laughs> yep. This, I'm, they come back again. My, this is a Fuck real it. fish. <laughs> Made no progress. I know. <laughs> I want that show re-edited. Like, I just want to see like the YouTube edit or like not even the YouTube edit, but like the modern edit the edit of that show that isn't right. meant to just drag on for one hour on well, primetime TV on a cable think, channel. Yeah. And I think that's what people are realizing with media out there now is like some people want to hear like long form conversations because it's yep. good to hear that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes to this other fishing stuff, we don't need to drag out one fish fight for the whole 45 <laughs> minutes. It's only exciting for the person that's actually fighting the fish. Right. Everybody else that even if you were on the boat, it'd be exciting like holy shit. Right. right. He's got a fish. 20 like his minutes camera later. probably jacked all hell yeah, too. Yeah, 20 minutes later they're like Yep, they're bored. Is this thing ever going to come up? <laughs> <You know? laughs> that initial snag and that initial realization gets you enough adrenaline to just like go yeah. for a while. But yeah, yeah 20, 20 minutes in, they're like, fuck, dude, you're just burning up tape. Can you get the fish in? Yeah, it's just like this <laughs> intense shots and pull back and music. The crescendo. And then, yeah, yeah, it's just... 
and then you see like a little bit of a swirl water. It's like, dun, 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 dun. and then you have like the voiceover of him. He's just like, at this point, oh, I didn't think I was ever going to get the fish in. And like, I don't know what his accent is. I'm just doing a random accent, no, but he's just, he's just like <laughs> talking got a weird about accent. He's just like, I knew we had a war on our hands. And it's like, <laughs> like you said, Christian, yep. <laughs> then back to commercials. Yep. And they come back to the same thing. Exact just, same oh, thing. Exact same shit. Or the last 20 like seconds, you just have minutes. to watch it again. There goes 40 yeah. seconds of tape. Or of it was a pretty time. long commercial break. I'm pretty sure you forgot about what happened. So we're going to replay that to refresh your memory and give you 20 seconds of new content before we go to the next break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Sorry okay. for going off on a rant. No, I joined you. That was so think. much fun. We needed to do it because I know that we both watch that show or have watched the show because it's really interesting because you do learn stuff and see. Yeah, and, and he he's does legitimately kind of catching things, river it's monsters. Way yeah. too long. It needs to be re-edited. Yeah. That's all there is I mean, to it. It's, it's a very legit. fascinating it's, show. He's catching river monsters. They are legitimate yeah. like fish nobody else can. Get, goes and fishes for except for the people in those rural part rural parts of the world like they're right. off the beaten path it's a weird right. fish it's a weird location like mm -hmm. nobody's out there taking pictures of these things for the fucking instagram so it's right. inherently compelling and yeah. then they're just like let's edit it the dumbest fucking way possible <laughs> <laughs> so it's so antiquated is what it is <laughs> so back to our river monsters big old flathead catfish i guess there's been 70 pounders in the state uh as they take down dams we catch these them. things are moving north and as we just talked about these dams are put up in some cases being sold yeah on, they're gonna just keep the carp out well guess what these big fucking flatheads eat carp they eat fish Oh, dude! I knew they ate fish, but they eat carp. Well, I mean, well, I you know, keep it in monsters. perspective. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, yeah, like a muskie's eating a fish that's pretty big, and that's like the world or the state record. Like we just said, fifty-six pounds, and they're eating big fish. Right. That's seventy-five. That's seventy pounders. I know. That it big makes you wonder what kind small of small dogs. That could put Right, right. <laughs> it makes you wonder what kind of hurt it could put on, like, those carp. Because not all carp are giant. Yeah. You know? And that's the problem is that they're... So people it just makes you kind of wonder, things, like, man. Huh? People just... People noodle these. People catch these with their bare hands. 70 pounds. I know. It's crazy. Just pull up their broken forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Bones poking out. So since the 90s, there have been more than 50 dams removed in uh, Minnesota. And it sounds like they're kind of making a, you know, a push to do more. Like I said, that one in Hinkley, you know, has kind of got people worried and stuff like that. So there's definitely discussions going on right now, you know. It's because they all watch Frozen 2. <laughs> and they don't have Elsa to save the village. <laughs> Everybody knows you need an ice queen to stop that water from destroying your village. You can't just destroy a dam. You don't have <laughs> Elsa's running around everywhere. <laughs> you got to be sure it's going to be okay. Yeah. Get Elsa, then take it down. Everybody will feel better about it. Yep. Uh, some In some places, they're making they're doing the man-made rapids thing. So they're just like, oh, you know. Yeah. yeah. Which I was just like, huh. That probably keeps some of that water up still then. I wonder, you know, mm. I just wonder kind of how that goes. Yeah, I mean, it probably slows it down. Yeah, there's got to be pockets and stuff. That's got to help fish move, right? I'm not, I didn't yeah. do a ton of research on the river movement, but I just thought it was cool to say, like, it's not like they're just like ripping down dams and doing nothing about it, you know, and just like, oh, no, I'm going to figure <laughs> shit out. They're, you know, they're also you like putting saying, in rapids sometimes and shit. Yeah. You started saying ripping down. I thought you were going to say this. Not like, like you were talking about the fish. Not like they're just ripping down the river. You just see fish like hauling ass now. <laughs> with, you're riding with that the new flow. They're like, fuck you, yeah, bro. <laughs> Whoopash. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that YouTube video? Of that no. dude? <laughs> that, oh, man. You got to check that out. There's a guy that's uh, 
he's talking about the waves and there, it's like a news reporter that's asking him. He's just like, he's like, you can't in the barrel. And it's like, they will bash. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't remember exactly what it is. But yeah. I just picture the fish just like hauling ass down there. Just or like a, a, a crush from crush. Finding Nemo. Rogers, yeah. Rogers. Rogers. Just riding these new man made rapids. Just so right. pumped on it. Dude, there was something in the way before, but Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh, so anyways, you know, I don't want to just dwell on the catfish and the, uh, I'll bring up the other stuff in the article too, because it's pretty cool that, you know, it's not the, it's not just the paddlefish, you know, that's that kind of the headline thing. And it's not just the flathead that I wanted to bring up because I love flathead, love catfish and they could do some damage on the carps, but like Sauger are coming back mm. now as they remove these dams. Yeah. Bowfish are coming back. My beloved sturgeon is making moves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So just like blue suckers. Um, and uh, they even said that the, you know, our Minnesota loves walleye. Oh, and they're making yeah. better. They're making more moves. The pikes and the northerns, like all of those sort of game fish that we're real into. Um, yeah. I mean, if the sockers are benefiting. making moves, then the walleyes are making moves. They're the same right. Fish. That's what I thought. Yeah, for the most part, they're the same fish, they're just different coloring. Sure. I mean, I mean, there might be more science. I'm sure there's like other scientific thing. Maybe somebody that's one of those. There's... Maybe I should put that down on the yeah. dock. Like somebody else, just like just the like, old. No, no, it's different. Yeah. Well, just like the past episodes that we've done, where we've like steelhead, rainbow trout. What the hell's going on yeah. there? Salmon. What's all that happening? Maybe I should put down sauger. And uh, walleye. We can get I don't into think that. it's that. Yeah, I mean, maybe we find more out, but I don't think it's that d- different. I think saugers <laughs> don't get quite as big, and the walleye have a very defined, like, white tip on their tail. Oh, okay. But we'll find out part, that it's just like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be like yeah, the quick take, intro. Saugers it'll it'll be yeah, same fish, it'll, just different. Yeah, it'll be exactly what I just said. Uh, right, turns out yeah. it's exactly what Tim said. <laughs> turns out, just go uh, check out episode thirty-four. Just a little Same bit different thing. color. Saugers don't get as big. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to talk about now? <laughs> okay, next topic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, man. Well, let's fucking wrap up. Damn dams. Uh, damn dams. And I, I again, I said it at the beginning. I said I was going to wrap it up again at the end. Is I know that this is just one part of the conversation. That is a much bigger conversation. There's like communities around these dams. You know, you may have a reason you like carp for some reason. I, I'm just fucking around, but like, you know, maybe taking down these dams is uh, affected, you know, your area differently. And I, again, know that there's a lot of conversation out there. So, you know, fuck it. Go over to YouTube, get in the comments. Let's chat about it because I want to hear uh, all sides. I kind of just shed light on this one. One side of it. Yeah, if there's any negative, I'd be interested in hearing that too. Yeah. Because I'm cool with tearing down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let those fish swim. But I'd yeah. like to hear, I'd like to hear the other side too. And because uh, that's what you need more of discussion, real mm-hmm. discussion. That's how you fucking learn shit. And that's what we're all about here at Real AF TV. So, Tim, let's take a break. We're going to jump into the second half Mm -hmm. where we're going to talk about, are we working on becoming hunters? Are we we hunters now? I don't know. Are we going to be? Are we going to be? Yeah. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it after the break. Yeah.